So quivering queef smellwood. Live streams again yesterday. Part two of the SpongeBob DLC for Power Wash Simulator. Oh no, oh, oh, oh no, I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to sit there and watch this loser, Darius Truxton, who's chinless from one angle, double chinned from another. This idiot play Power Wash Simulator. This guy's a nerve to make fun of me for playing Diablo 4. My, mind you, I'm playing hardcore mode, so there's a lot of skill involved. And that guy's saying, oh, all you do is press the left click button. Meanwhile, this guy can't even power wash in a game in a straight line. That's how stupid he is. His brain does not work. I would like to know one thing from Alpha Nerd. Alpha Nerd, did Darius Truxton actually graduate from high school? Can you confirm that? I think, during, I think at your time, it was grade 13, right? Now we're grade 12, but I think at your time, wasn't it grade 13, maybe? Can you confirm, Alpha Nerd, if Darius Truxton did actually graduate from high school? Because I'm starting to doubt that as well. So, what amazes me is when Darius Truxton's on his live stream, he acts like he's so... He, 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 he acts... When he talks, he acts like he's the one to go to for how to be civil. He's the one to go to to how to be cordial. He's the one to go to to how to act on YouTube and be normal. Why is he the voice of reason about this? May I remind you guys, for two to three years, Queef was going around YouTube making rant videos about other people bothering them. He was doing that for two to three years. 2772 happened on April 6th. Okay, April 6th. It's only been, what, like three months? April, May, June, July, like three, four months. And Queef has been doing it for two to three years. And he wants to act like, oh, guys, stop acting. Oh, stop being creeps on YouTube. Oh, all this chaos on YouTube, all this chaos. You've been doing it for the past two to three years, and now karma's coming to collect, and you can't handle it. And did you guys see on yesterday's live stream? when Donald Reed, the fake wankster who wears a fitted cap in his house to hide his balding, receding hairline, when that guy came in the chat, yeah, they were talking. <coughs> and then Darius Truxton has the nerve. He has the nerve to say, yeah, like, guys, like, when you have your live streams, just put on subscriber only, like, just stop the trolls, you know, why do you let them, why do you let them come in and engage with them, why do you do this, and then Darius Truxton is subliminally telling d -Re, like, letting d -Re know, like, come on, man, just put in your subscriber only, don't even let them talk, and then Darius is like, yeah, when, when I see that in other live streams, I just leave, like, Darius, no one cares about your presence in any live stream, you're a nobody, you're a nothing. You're a loser who married a girl in Final Fantasy XI online and then creeped her out online and she divorced you online in Final Fantasy XI, in Sandoria, okay? You're some, you're an idiot, okay? Who cares about your presence in the live stream? You're not number one honcho anymore. You're not, you're not like the, you're, you don't run the community anymore. There's a new sheriff in town and that's me and that's the snakes. We run the community. You need to step down, all right? Albert Menendez, you're no tough guy. You're walking, again, you, you always walk around prancing around Florida, five foot two shrimp that looks like Nosferatu, and he puts on his dark shades, put, he has this mean face when he talks, and he talks like he's some tough guy. Like, you're not tough, Albert, okay? You're not tough. If you saw me in the street, you'd run the other way, all right? You'd, you'd friggin' wet your pants and then run into the Florida Everglades and, and hide in your blue tent, all right? You're not gonna do anything. You're a nobody. You're an absolute nobody. And then Darius Trucks is saying, oh, all you guys do is say 2772, 2772. And then you're like, Darius, you're like, oh, come see me. Hey, Darius, if you want to do mutual combat, I would knock the hell out of you in a second. All right, Darius, you're scrawny, skinny, chinless, weak jaw body, you ain't gonna do nothing, all right? Don't even go there. Don't even try Darius Trucks in the whole tough guy act. Don't even try the whole, oh, come see me, because you're a nobody. We are, we have video evidence. When you wanna throw hands in a fight, 
The only thing I have to worry about is protecting my crotch because you're going to go straight for the crotch like that video evidence scene where you got lifted up, knocked down, and all you did was kneel and pray to the guy not to beat you up and grab the guy's crotch. You're not doing anything. You don't know how to throw hands. You've never been in an actual real physical fight in your life. I can tell. I can tell by the way you act and the way you look. All right? My God. The, the, the nerve, the nerve Darius Truxton has to say, come see me. What are you going to do? Come see me. Oh, my Lord. Even your own incel Truxton army. Even D. Reed, Dean TV. Even Albert Menendez know, like, when they heard that, they just laughed. Because you ain't doing nothing. You have no idea how to fight, Darius. You never did. You never will. That's why you come on YouTube to try to exercise your dominance over everybody. Because in real life, you ain't exercising nothing. All right, You're a nobody. You're not going to exercise any dominance in real life. So then you got to go on YouTube. And then you got to exercise your dominance on cucks like DJ Rudin, who's been exposed and doxxed. How does that one feel, DJ Rudin, you dummy? Daniel Rudin? How does it feel that your whole life is going to be now exposed and doxxed just because you associate with some chinless queef online? You're such a loser, DJ Rudin, that you're literally waiting and you're playing online power wash. Like, don't you have anything to do in your life instead of playing power wash simulator with a chinless queef? And what was even more pathetic, this is even more pathetic. This is what most people didn't catch on. <clears throat> DJ Rudin yesterday was saying in, 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 the, in the power wash thing, he was saying, oh, it's my game's glitched. I can't even see the dirt. And he still stayed there and played the game. That's how much of a loser he is. That's how much of a loser he is trying to associate with some loser named Darius Truxton. My God. Darius Truxton, your whole army is full of incels. You got Cyan Razor Cell, who's literally back in the comments. After Cyan's been disrespected, stepped on, spit on by Darius, spit on by the army, that chin like Buzz Lightyear genetic freak is still back trying to defend the army and help the army progress the army. You guys are so garbage. The normal response when something like that happens, Cyan, is to now go after them and, and hate them. But the thing is, you're too invested. You're too invested in this, Cyan. You already archived, wasted a thousand hours of your life archiving videos. You already proved you're obsessed with Darius when you literally replaced the pictures in the picture frames in the Harry Potter game with a chinless queef. You're already obsessed, Cyan, when you went to Florida to meet a five foot two shrimp shrimp named Albertina Menendez and made love to him in his blue tent with your premium vest on. You're already obsessed. You're, you're, you're in too deep. I'm sorry. This is the way it's going to be. <clears throat> then you got friggin' Dean TV who's obsessed with YouTube. That loser can't even break 50 to 60 views on his main channel that has 50,000 subscribers. That guy is absolutely pathetic. That guy's whole life is trying to protect this image on YouTube because that he needs his YouTube channel. He needs to protect it. I come on here, record a damn video, put a thumbnail up and I'm done. And then I come back later on and read the comments and laugh. That's all I do. You guys, on the other hand, are trying to analytically respond and let's have a discussion and let's do this. Like, shut up. I come in here for fun. I roast you guys. People listen. End of story. I have other things to do instead of sit on friggin' YouTube and join your little live stream panels, a bunch of incels. You got Cheetah Man the Mouth Breather that says nothing on panel. He's Mr. Captain Obvious. Every time the most obvious statement to say, then he chimes in like, yeah, yeah, that's it. Like, shut up. You got Rabbit Dude who's... A, Friggin' Michael McCulley, some short bus autistic writing prick that just pretends he doesn't listen to the drama. He wants to put this narrative out there to everybody like, I want to stay away from the drama. I don't want to listen to it. And meanwhile, he's listening to all the drama. Pathetic. Albert Menendez again. He's trying to avoid talking about me because he's scared. He's scared. Isn't it funny how like two, three months ago when the whole trying to control my comment section happened, 
Then Albert Menendez was making videos every day, trying to roast me. He's like, oh, slut him this and slut him that and all this. Now you don't hear a word. You don't hear a word about slothing from his mouth. Because he's a scared little punk. See, the true colors of these people come out when you put the pressure on them. That's how you should always be in life. When someone acts fake like that, like Albert Menendez, like a fake tough... He wants to pretend... He wants to act like he's so tough because he's been to jail for two years. That doesn't make you tough, Albert. That makes you a moron. That makes you an idiot. Because you got caught masturbating in public. They put you in the can for two years. And for some reason, that makes you tough. No, it doesn't. That makes you a dumb criminal. That's what it does. It doesn't make you tough. Who knows how much you were bending over in jail? The same way you bend over for Darius Trucks and whenever he, whenever you see him on a live stream. So D. Reed, Donald Reed, are you gonna bend over too? Because Darius yesterday said put your, put your live chat on subscriber only three days, five days. Are you gonna bend over and, and prove to Albert that you're the better one at bending over? Or are you actually gonna be a man and be like, no, I wanna leave the chat open and talk to whoever? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't feel, Darius, may I remind you what happened last time when you tried to control someone about their YouTube channel? I happened, Slotham happened. And you have the nerve to try that again with Donald Reed? Well, yeah, considering Donald Reed's a cuck, and he agrees with everything Darius Truxton says. Yeah, why not? Go ahead and exercise your uh, dominance over him. But you made a mistake trying to exercise your dominance over me. For some reason, you were so used to, Darius Truxton, you were so used to exercising your dominance and getting people to do what you want. You tried that on me. You learned the hard way. And now you're feeling the pressure and the, and, and the destruction every single day. Every single day, yeah. If someone just needs to type up Keith, uh, Keith Elwood or Darius Truxton, you're going to see your ugly face. All right? You idiot, you loser who hired a stripper named Destiny to go with you at Blue Jays game. That's how pathetic you are. And it's just crazy. All right? So keep seething and raging. I'm back. You're going to have to deal with it. Whether you mention me or not, Albert Menendez. You're going to have to deal with me forever on YouTube. We ain't going nowhere. All right? All you guys are going to have to deal with me. Keep being jealous. And there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet.